In this overview, we will discuss a new security feature introduced in DHIS 2.30, breaking the glass. Breaking the glass refers to providing a quick means for a person who does not have access privileges to certain information to gain access when necessary. Closely related to this feature are new levels of access for tracker programs that decide how much detail needs to be logged in relation to the actions within that tracker program, as well as determining who can actually access the tracked entities, for example people, within a particular program. We will discuss both of these concepts within this overview. We will first demonstrate the concept of breaking the glass. In our example, the current user I'm logged into has access to register and search for people within the WHO RMNCH tracker program. They also have the ability to edit and update the information within the program stages of this program. Though this user is only assigned one organization unit for data capture, they can search for individuals within this program across the entire organization unit hierarchy. This is configured on a per user basis as we can select which organization units a user has access to search. In this example, in the event this user needs to search for and access an individual's record that was not registered within their own data capture organization unit or units, they will have to enter a reason as to why they are accessing the record. First, we can search for the record. Now when we try to access it, we will have to enter a message as to why we are accessing the record that is outside of our assigned data capture organization unit. This is dependent on how the program is set up and if this feature is configured. If there is no need to have them enter a reason for accessing a person's information outside of their data capture organization unit, this prompt does not have to be displayed. This is the default behavior that is present in previous versions of DHIS2 prior to 2.30. This can also be configured to not allow them to access tracked entity records outside of their own data capture organization unit within a certain program at all. If the program is configured to allow this type of access, when the user enters a reason for accessing this record, they will subsequently be taken to the person's tracker dashboard. You will see that this individual can enter data for a new stage. as this new stage is attached to their data capture organization unit. However, they are unable to edit data from the previous stage, as the data from this particular program stage belongs to an organization unit outside of their data capture assignment. The Break the Glass feature is closely linked to newly introduced access levels for tracker programs in DHIS 2.30. There are now four levels of access that are available for programs that were not present in previous versions of DHIS2. These include open, audited, protected, and closed. We can provide a brief overview of what these different program access levels entail. The open level of access allows anyone to search for and open records for tracked entities within a program within the search organization units that they have been assigned. What they can subsequently do within the program is dependent upon their user permissions and sharing settings within that particular program. They do not need to enter any reason as to why they are accessing a record outside of their assigned data capture organization units. The audited level of program access is very similar to open. However, there is now a log entry that is saved whenever something is open outside of a user's data capture organization unit. The user does not need to enter any information as this log entry is created by the system. The protected level of access allows for searching and opening records for tracked entities within a program within the search organization units that they have been assigned. However, they will be asked to enter a reason for accessing a record outside of their data capture organization unit each time this action is performed. This is the level of access that we have demoed in our initial part of this overview. The closed level of access allows users to only open records associated with a program that are within their assigned data capture organization units irregardless of the search organization units that they are assigned. In our first example, we demonstrated the breaking the glass concept in which a user would need to provide a reason for accessing a person's record that is outside of their assigned data capture organization units. We now know this is a result of the program being configured with the protected level of access. If the same program is now configured as open and we try to access a person outside of our search organization units,
we can see that the person can open the record without having to enter any reason for accessing it. Note that this user still cannot edit the data associated with the program stage that was registered outside of their data capture organization unit. We can review this once more, now with the program configured as closed. In this case, after searching for the record, you will get an error message. This indicates that the user has no access to the tracked entity instances outside of their assigned data capture organization units. Essentially, because the program level access is closed, this user cannot access any individuals that are not within the same data capture organization units they are assigned. It does not matter which organization units they can search. By using program access levels, we can determine how we allow users to access records. We can also determine what type of additional information should be stored when a record outside of a user's data capture assignment is accessed. In cases where the program is configured as audited, then system generated messages will be created. And in the event the program level access is protected, then user defined messages will be added in at the time of accessing the record. All of this depends on the ability of a user to be able to search outside of their data capture organization unit. If they can only search within the same organization units that they have data capture access to, then these features do not apply. This has been a brief overview of the breaking the glass concept within DHIS2, both how it works in practice as well as its configuration. If there are any additional questions about breaking the glass or program access levels, please do not hesitate to let us know.